Good morning. Well, selecting a jury that can remain unbiased and impartial is going to be a challenge, especially because of Donald Trump's celebrity, his political past, but also because he is the presumptive Republican nominee in this year's presidential election. Yesterday, jury selection ended without a single juror being picked. To the soul of America. And that's why I'm very proud to be here. This is an assault on our country. Monday, in a day seeped in American history, Donald Trump became the first former president to ever be on trial for criminal charges. This is the first of the former president's four criminal indictments to go to trial. He's accused of hiding hush money payments to adult film actress Stormy Daniels to cover up an alleged affair before the 2016 election. He's denied the allegations. As protesters clashed outside inside Manhattan criminal court, jury selection began. At times, Mr. Trump appeared agitated, even bored as he sat back with his eyes closed. By the end of the day, Monday, 96 potential jurors had been assembled, but many were dismissed, saying they had already formed an opinion. It's going to be hard to um, come up with a fair and impartial jury because so many people know about this case and have preconceived notions. The potential jurors had to answer 42 questions about whether they could be unbiased. One saying, quote, I believe that nobody is above the law, whether it be a former president or a sitting president or a janitor. The day began with legal motions. Testimony from former Playboy model Karen McDougal, who says she had an affair with Mr. Trump, will be allowed. The judge also declaring the infamous Access Hollywood tape cannot be played in court because it could bias the jury. The tape itself can be described. The former president is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in an effort to bury negative stories about him. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. It continues and it continues forever. And we're not going to be given a fair trial. So up to 500 Manhattan residents will be on standby every single day for jury selection. The goal in the end is to select 12 jurors and six alternates. Jury selection will take one to two weeks, and the trial will last another six to eight weeks after that. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Kieran Dillon, Pix11 News.